Hello everyone and welcome to a really quick video. I'm just going to take you through some New York pattern company patterns. Uh, recently I posted a video where I was organizing over 500 of these. At the time it was the largest lot I'd ever purchased and they all came out of a general store so they were all factory folded. This means they have been very quick to count because there really isn't much counting to do and there are also a lot of duplicates in the designs which makes them pretty easy to list because I can copy the listings and then just change out the measurements. So I'm hoping to get a lot more of these in the shop very soon, but so far I've only listed the odd sized ones which are over here. Uh, these are all up in the shop now and they range from size 9 to size 17. Odd sizes are junior sizes and they tend to be cut for more of a pear shaped figure, so they have slightly larger than standard waist and hip measurements and slightly smaller bust measurements by comparison. Then odd sizes are known as petite or stout sizes, so they're made for slightly shorter figures and their waist measurements tends to be comparatively large. So these are not in the shop yet. They range from sizes 14 and a half to 22 and a half. So for bust measurements from 31 to 43, I want to say. And they will be going up at whatever date I put on screen right now. So you can mark your calendars or set a timer if you're interested in any of them. So these have already been counted. So they are in plastic sleeves. So there's going to be a little bit of shine off of them, but hopefully you can still enjoy the designs and enjoy this video. So let's get into it. I just turned off my overhead light and up to the brightness on my camera. So hopefully there will be less glare off of these. Also, I did try and film a haul of all of these size 13 to 17 patterns when I listed them a few weeks ago, but I don't know where that footage went. So I probably had double the number of size 17 through 13 patterns as I'm going to show you in this video, but they have just sold so I no longer have them to show to you. These size 11 patterns, however, I listed yesterday. So I have a lot of those to show you and the majority of them are still in the shop. However, they are for very tiny measurements, so they probably won't appeal to a large quantity of my viewers or a large quantity of the population in general. Anyway, these two are size 17, so they are made for 35 inch busts, 28 and a half inch waists, and 38 inch hips. And right on top here is this adorable gathered skirt design, and you can also make this gathered crop top with a square neck, or this Peter Pan collar blouse, and I adore this pattern. I think it is so, so cute. This is just very preppy and polished, which is totally my style, uh, and then this one is a little bit more fun and could totally be worn for a beach day. Next up, we have another one that I just adore and would probably keep if it was in my size. This is a gourd skirt, which almost has the shape of a circular skirt since it is so full. Then you've got this blouse with darts to fit it, but you've got more of a peasant blouse style top with little puffed sleeves and a ruffle around the neckline. You can also make this with a filled in yoke and collared for a more buttoned up, quite literally, appearance and both views are just so, so cute. This guy is a size 15 which is for a 33 inch bust, 27 inch waist and 36 inch hips and it's a really cute design as well. It's a very full 1950s skirt with an optional pocket. You got a really interestingly shaped yoke which can also be a lap detail to create this v-neck and you can make this with short or elbow length sleeves. And then we'll look for this one's a little bit worse for wear, but like all of the patterns in this video, it is factory folded. Then I have a slightly larger stack of size 13 patterns. These ones haven't sold quite as well just because they are a smaller size, which is a shame because the designs are adorable. So these are all made for 31 inch busts, 25 and a half inch waists, and 34 inch hips. This one on top here is my favorite. It is a two-piece dress and you have this tiered, gathered, super roughly delightful skirt. This would be so cute if you made it out of different colors of fabric. You'd have like a rainbow bow ombre skirt. It would be amazing. They have this cap sleeve uh, sort of dolman sleeve blouse and they look amazing together and they would also be really practical lovely separates. Okay perhaps I lied. This is another one of my favorites. I previously had this one in size 15 and 17 as well but they have both sold. This is a flared cord skirt pattern as well as a high-waisted shorts pattern and then you can make this little shirt to go with it that buttons up the front and has a high collar and an optional pocket. And I think that's just so cute and sporty. I really love this style of casual wear. This envelope is worse for wear. In fact, it's so worse for wear I had to write the size on it because I couldn't see it on the envelope. Uh, but this is for a lightly flared dress with some interesting details. It's got kind of a pocket inserted into this front seam and the front seam of the skirt lines up with darts on the waist, which is a really nice detail. Then it's got sort of a rounded square neckline with these little tab details dressed up with buttons. So it's very cute. This is another one I previously had in other sizes, but they have sold. It's another two-piece dress pattern, so you can make these out of the same materials and wear them together and have something that looks like a dress, or you could separate them and have two really functional, versatile garments in your wardrobe. So this is a dolman or kimono sleeve blouse fitted with tucks and buttons down the front with an interesting tab detail, and then you've got a cord and pleated skirt that also buttons down the front. This was another one that I had in many sizes, but they have sold. So this is for a cord skirt with super huge, 
interesting pockets. I really like the top stitching detail around them. And then you can make this with a dolman sleeve blouse that buttons up the front and has a cute little scalloped collar. Or you can make it with elbow length sleeves uh, and have the collar flip out to create this lapel effect. Now I have a ton of size 11s because I just listed these today. Actually, one of these is also size 9, so I'll show you that one first. I can't remember the size of this, but these size 11s are for a 29 inch bust, 24 and a half inch waist, and 32 inch hips. And this is a size down from that, so it's teeny tiny. It's a really cute design. It's got a yoke detail and some buttons at the front. It's shaped over the bust with gathers extending down from a scalloped yoke. You can make this with a collar. It dips in slightly at the waist, but it isn't very fitted at the waist. Instead, it is fitted with a belt that you wear over top of it. And I have this one, and I had this one a bunch of sizes, but they all sold. It is a flared 1950s dress with a wrap over yoke and dolman sleeves or kimono sleeves that are cut in one with the bodice pieces. And you can make them with optional large patch pockets. This is another two-piece pattern, which I always love to see because they really are just so practical in terms of adding pieces to your wardrobe. So this is for a skirt with a box pleat at the front and very large pockets. And then you can make it with either a long or short sleeved kimono sleeved blouse. And it can have either a v-neck or scoop neck or a high sort of crew neck line. Actually, I lied when I said I had this one in lots of sizes. It turns out I have it in a size 11 as well. So this is just in the smaller measurements fits the same pattern. This one I had in tons of sizes, but they have sold. It's a really, really cute house dress with a button front placket. You can make this with a high neckline with a little tie detail or with a square neck. You can make it with short or long bishop sleeves. This is another one of those dresses that isn't very fitted at the waist. Instead, it is pulled in with a belt. This one is amazing. It's a drop waist design with sort of a scalloped detail over the hips. It's got a seam down the front, which makes it easy to fit or easy to get a better fit. And this has sleeves cut in one with the bodice as well uh, that are either elbow length or short. And I really like this because it's sort of a proper looking dress, just with how it's fitted to you below the waist. But you can also make it out of a print and have it just be something fun and casual for summer. And this is my favorite of the size 11s and one of my favorites of this video in general. I just think it's so sleek. And if they'd had this in my size, I probably would have kept a copy for myself. So this is a button front dress with a Peter Pan collar and it has optional button details across the shoulder, which I just think are so striking. I really like the colors they used for this illustration in general. It's not the most flattering shade of brown, but it's kind of a color I associate with the military. And with the button details, it just looks very tailored and sharp, and I like it a lot. And this is another pattern where it's not super fitted within the waist, so you would just pull this over your head and then pull it in at the waist with a belt. Now let's go through the ones I still have multiple copies available of. So this is 1356, and I have this in a size 15 and a size 13. This is another two-piece dress, so you could wear this with the blouse tucked into the skirt or worn over top of the skirt like they show here. It is a high-collared Peter Pan collared blouse with this sort of yoke uh, or shoulder detail, which makes it look a lot more tailored than comparable patterns. It's fitted with darts uh, to the waist, and then the skirt actually has pleats that line up with that dart, which is a really nice little touch. And you can make this with short or long bishop sleeves. I have this guy in a size 11 and a size 13. This is a late 1940s, I would say a lightly flared dress with a slit neckline at the front and you can make this with a collar that flips outward or you can make it with a more fitted mandarin style collar and I like how they mimicked the detail at the front of the mandarin collar at the waist. I just think it's a nice touch. And this has cap sleeves that are cut in one with the bodice. I have these two in a size 15 and 13 and I'm honestly shocked these are still in the shop. This is just the most amazing summer dress. You've got this super full flared skirt with an optional tulip shaped pocket. It buttons to the waist and you can make it sort of halter style with just a single piece around the neck or you can make it with raglan short sleeves that have a really cute rounded cuff. Both of these views are just adorable and they would be so perfect for summer so I can't believe someone hasn't snagged these. These are more separate sets and again these are still in the shop which is amazing. I love separates but I guess other people don't love them as much as me. So this is for a pleated lightly flared skirt and then the blouse has really interesting details. I'll actually zoom you in a little bit. So it's got this placket down the front and then it's got sort of a yoke with pockets extending from it and it's got a flared uniquely shaped collar. I think it's a really cool design uh, and it's sort of military inspired but still really feminine with the way they paired it with a skirt and I like it a lot. And then these are still in the shop in a size 15, 13, and 11. I did have this in a size 17 as well but it sold and I love this pattern. This is not my style but I think it's one of the coolest patterns I've come across just because the views are so versatile. So you can make this halter top that looks straight out of Marilyn Monroe's closet. It's so beautiful. 
or you can make a roll neck, sort of turtleneck blouse with dolman sleeves, or you can make a collared blouse with dolman or kimono sleeves. Um, and I think all of these views are just so beautiful, and it's kind of got all of the seasons covered. Like you have spring and summer, you have autumn, and then you have winter. Uh, it's just such a versatile, really great pattern. And again, shocked it's still in the shop. So that is it for the odd sizes, and those are all listed. At the time this video goes up, the half sizes will not be listed, but as I said, there will be something on screen telling you when they will be posted. So now let's go through them. These two are size 14 and a half, which is for a 33 inch bust, a 27 inch waist, and 36 inch hips. And they're both actually pretty similar patterns. They both button all the way down the front. So this one has optional pockets and is shaped with two darts over the shoulders. It also has a flip out lapel, and you can make this with short or elbow length sleeves with wing cuffs. This version has more rounded looking cuffs, but they're definitely a similar shape. Uh, but this time the cuffs are an option for the short sleeve option and not for the elbow length sleeve option. This also has more of a scalloped shaped lapel, which I actually like a little bit better, uh, and a lightly flared skirt without any pockets. And as far as pricing for these goes, I think I'm gonna keep it really simple. All of the, the 14 and a half size patterns will be $14. The size 16 ones will be $16. The size 18 ones will be $18. The size 20 ones will be $20. And the singular size 20 to one and a half will be $22. And the reason I charge more for larger sizes isn't because I have any prejudice against larger sizes. I am one myself in the pattern world. It's just that larger sizes are so hard to come by. I have, I think, three bins completely full of size 14 and 16 patterns and only half full bins of sizes 18 and 20. So I do tend to price those a little bit higher just because they are so difficult to come by. Anyway, right here we have a wraparound asymmetrical style lightly flared not even really flared dress, probably from the late 1940s or early 50s. You can make this with a v-neck or with a collar. It has little darts at the shoulders. I really like this detail. I think it's incredibly flattering and just an interesting take on a relatively simple dress. I also love patterns that only have a couple buttons because sometimes you acquire buttons that you only have one or two of and you don't know how to use them, but you want to use them. So it's great to have a dress that gives you that opportunity. This is another one I really like. Uh, that This looks almost 80s or 90s to me. There's just something about having it the long tucks that extended to pleats that makes me think of dresses from that period. I don't think this ditzy small floral print helps, but it is a really cute design. It's got a v-neck and short length sleeves, and you can make it with a little bow. It also has a jacket or bolero pattern to go with it. I don't know if I mentioned, but the size 16 and a half patterns are for a 35 inch bust, a 29 inch waist, and 38 inch hips. Then we have this one, which is really unique. Um, I'm not even sure how to describe this. It's a relatively fitted but slightly flared skirt. It's got a square neckline, and it has this front panel, and then these panels that go over top of it with a lapel uh, that create that square neck. And you can make this with upper length or short sleeves that have a notched cap. I almost think of this being like a stomacher and then having the pieces over top of it, but that's a very historical term, and I don't think really applies to patterns from the 1950s. These are all 18 and a half. So right here we have another button front dress. It's sort of flared as in that it's not fitted, but it isn't extremely flared by any means. This has slightly flouncy sleeves, or you can make it with elbow length bishop sleeves. It's got a shawl style collar and it has this optional tab detail. This one is another wrap style dress with a v-neckline and it also has a little jacket pattern to go with it. The main difference between this one and the other one we saw is that this doesn't have any sort of interesting button details, but does have pockets and a slightly more slimmer cut skirt. This is probably my favorite from the lot, and the envelope is probably the one in the worst condition, which is just how it goes sometimes. But this is a lightly flared double-breasted dress pattern with a basque waist. The buttons are actually functional, and this is a sort of wrap side front closure. I've got this really wide, interestingly shaped lapel, uh, short sleeves with a little cuff that are cut in one with the bodice as dolman or kimono sleeves. It's just very pretty, very classic. I love the shape of it. It's a really flattering cut, um, but not so wide that you need to wear a petticoat with it or that it would be unruly when going about daily tasks. So I like this one a lot. As far as 20 and a half go, I have two of those here. This is a dress that buttons down to the waist and has a really cool flare or wing style cuff and collar. And then it has these optional large patch pockets over the chest. I'm not sure if those are completely flattering because they're really like bright over the boob. But I think they're really cool. And I just love the green colors they've picked for these illustrations and how they've accented them with black details. I like it a lot. And again, it has that lightly flared skirt style that I love so much. 
this always loves my style but it's still quite lovely. Uh, there's definitely one that I could see making out of a lace and having kind of a cocktail dress. Sort of a yoke with tuck details and then the dress itself has a sweetheart neckline. It is shaped with tucks under the bust and you can make it with short or long sleeves. And then the skirt is lightly flared uh, and gets its volume from some pleats at the front that line up with the tucks on the waistline which is a nice touch. Now let's get into the ones in multiple sizes of available. So this one I have in a 14 and a half, a 16 and a half, an 18 and a half, and a 20 and a half. And this is a really lovely design for a wrap style dress. Uh, where it wraps around, it is detailed with some tucks that extend into pleats. It's got a collar and a lapel. And you can make this with short cuff sleeves or elbow length cuffed sleeves. I feel like they picked the most drab colors and patterns to do this illustration with. Not sure why they would gravitate towards pale blue and gray, but I do think the design itself is lovely. This is 13.57 and I have this in a size 16 and a half and a size 18 and a half. It's a really nice suit pattern. Very, very flattering. It's got this really interesting, very large lapel. And then it has a single button at the waistline and sort of a tailored peplum going on. You can make this with elbow length or short sleeves. It has a relatively fitted, uh, given the era, skirt uh, to go with it. Speaking of suits, here's another suit pattern. This one has a seamed skirt to provide a little bit more volume through the legs. This one can also be made with long or short sleeves. And it buttons all the way down the front and has a much higher collar. And I really like this one as well. And I like how they've styled this with the fur and the little net. It's just very exaggerated and lovely. And this one is in a 14 and a half, a 16 and a half, and an 18 and a half. This one is 14 22 and I have this in a 16 and a half, an 18 and a half. I like this design a lot. Uh, it might just be the patterns and the colors they've chosen for the illustration, but buttons all the way down the front. You can make it with a lightly flared skirt as seen here, or a more fitted skirt as shown there. And it has optional pockets with a wing cuff and it's got sort of that wing uh, collar as well and I really love how this accented with a bow I just think it's really lovely it also has that little detail where the arm side is pleated and extends over top of the seam securing the sleeves in place this one is in a 16 and a half and 18 and a half it's asymmetrical and it's got this almost zigzag kind of tab detail extending over one side it's got a lightly flared skirt and a front closure as you can see there's a seam down here so this would actually open and be how the dress closes you can make this with a high collar with a slash in it or with more of a square neck uh, kind of angular collar. You can make this with elbow length or short sleeve. This one slid off my stack. I showed you this one a moment ago, but it turns out I also have it in a size 14 and a half. And then lastly, I have slip patterns in a size 20 and a half and 22 and a half. And this is just a really lovely, lightly flared uh, 1950s slip set that you can make with spaghetti straps and a sweetheart neckline. So that is it for this one. I really hope you enjoyed this peek at patterns I will be listing and patterns I have already listed as well as the first look at this lot in more detail. Uh, as I said, I have over 500 patterns from this lot, so there are definitely going to be a lot more of these to come, and I hope you will subscribe and stay tuned for them. And also check out the shop and the shop Instagram to see previews and to potentially purchase any of these patterns. Thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to all of you very soon.